Let's take a quick look at how to fly a network RTK mission with the Mavic 3 Enterprise. It's essentially the same steps as flying an RTK mission using the base station, with the one difference being that you are not going to be using a physical base station this time. Rather, you will instead be connecting to a network RTK service provider in order to receive corrections during flight. First things first, you'll need to make sure you create a GPS entry within Kespri Cloud that contains the EPSG code for the area you will be flying. While this information is not required to plan and fly your mission, it will be required when you upload the data. Within Kespri Cloud, choose Settings, GPS Entry, and choose the Network tab. Provide a name for the connection and provide the EPSG code. Make sure to save the entry when finished. When you go to upload your data, you'll be choosing the GPS entry you made from the drop-down menu, and the mission will be processed with the correct information. To make the connection, make sure you have already installed the RTK module on top of the drone. If not, make sure the drone is powered off, install the module, and then power it back on. Open the Pilot 2 app. From there, you have a few different ways to access the RTK settings. You can choose flat route and then either create a new route or choose one that already exists. The drone settings will be available from there. Alternatively, you can choose enter camera view from the pilot to home screen and from there, X out of the pre-flight check screen and then access the settings from there. For this demonstration, I'm gonna open an existing route. Once open, access settings by tapping the three dots in the very upper right hand corner. Within settings, tap the RTK icon towards the bottom. Make sure both RTK positioning and maintain positioning accuracy mode are enabled. From the select RTK service type menu, choose custom network RTK. Power cycle the drone when prompted. When the drone is reconnected, scroll down and provide all of the requested end trip information from your service provider. Once finished, tap Save. If you receive any errors, make sure you have a connection to the internet and double check your entries. Upon a successful connection, you should see RTK connected, the RTK data in use. Scrolling down, a couple other things you'll want to verify is that the aircraft position and shows fix, and the custom RTK network shows coordinates instead of all zero. At this point, it's business as usual and you're ready to fly. Create a new mission or select an existing mission. Launch the mission via the blue play icon and step through the pre-flight check and mapping check screen. Take note that RTK connected should be reflected on both screens. When ready, fly your mission.